All right, let's continue. On page 34, in your manuals, you, you have uh, rules, okay? These rules are to be read, okay? Let's read the rules. Page 34, okay? The first one is like this. How do we read the, this rule? Okay, let's go one uh, over one by one. V, a vowel, a vowel, or vowel, vowels. Vowels become, the arrow means become, nasal, yes. So you can write either nasal vowel like this or nasal like this. Yes, there are many ways of writing it. A vowel becomes nasal in the environment of, in the phonological environment of, what does this mean? A nasal consonant and then underscore nasal consonant. What do you think? Yes, you are right. Between nasal consonants between nasal consonants. So the, the, the vowel is here, the nasal vowel is here. And it occurs between nasal consonants. What kind of rule is this one? It's a na na nasalization rule, right? Is it English? No, it is not English. It's Spanish, yes, you're right, very good. I'll do number two with you again. Number two is like this. Lots of noise in my neighborhood. Yeah, they, they're building. Okay, here we have. This sound, this phoneme, okay, or if we want to be technical, I can say the voiceless alveolar um, stop phoneme becomes glottal in the environment of between vowels. Yes, I can say between vowels, but this is too general. Let's be more specific. After, after a stressed vowel and before a an unstressed vowel before an unstressed vowel remember the underscore represents the sound a glottal sound in this case before an unstressed vowel and after a stressed vowel so after before we need to to learn this after and before following and followed yeah let's do number three do not get confused. Number three. So I'll do up to number three here with you and then you'll be on your own. You'll be practicing on your own. This is number three, okay? I can say the sound L or the phoneme L or the voiced um, alveolar liquid sound becomes, and this is a new symbol. You, you have never seen this one before, okay? Devoiced, it means devoiced. So instead of pronouncing they say because there is no voice it's the voice okay never mind it's not english or it's not an english or spanish rule or a warning rule okay 
So this sound becomes the voice. In which environment? In which phonological environment? Okay. There is a an underscore here. So it it is after this. After this. After a voiceless consonant. Then voice less consonant. After a voiceless consonant. The sound L becomes the voice after a voiceless consonant. All right? Shall we do number four together? <laughs> because, because I have space, just because of that. Okay, number four. Again, the sound L. All right? So, the voice alveolar liquid sound becomes dental. In what phonological environment? Before uh, an inter a voiceless interdental fricative sound. Okay. Before a dental, uh, before an interdental, a voiceless interdental fricative sound. That's how we read the rule. Or the sound L, if you want, turns into a dental L before this phoneme. Yeah, you can write like this. This phoneme instead of the voiceless in, uh, interdental fricative sound. Yes, you're allowed to do that. Okay, so you have seen four examples of this and you have ten rules to read. So please read the rest five six five to ten read them do your best to read if you don't know the names of the sound you need to know your manual people come on there are charts with um the charts with the characteristics uh, of the phonemes let me look for them i'll tell you where here Pages 48, 49, they show the names of the sounds in English. Page 50, voice, voiceless, stop, fricative, etc., etc. Know your manual. It's super important that you know your manual. Okay? Okay, so that's it for today. Today, you need to be able to read rules. And I'll see you soon. Okay? You have a task to do also. Goodbye.